Hey guys, during the post spawn funk, sometimes these fish can be really finicky. And one of my favorite ways to catch them is the stupid tube. It works year round, but it catches them even when you're having a tough day. So stay tuned. Just get outside and do something awesome. You know, probably why this works so good. If you look down there, I don't know if you can see that, but like right there is a crawfish. I mean, drop mine down here next to this guy there's my little stupid tube and look at it sitting next to that crawdad about the same size probably go with a little bit darker color to imitate it a little bit better but they're just sitting up on these rocks up here and I bet that's what these bass are coming up and feeding on look at them pew, pew, pew. all right so back there when I saw this crawfish they were a little bit of a darker color brown so what i want to do is i'm going to switch out my color here and go to a little bit darker color and i'm going to show you guys how to rig this up so i heard this referred to as a stupid tube a while back but the only thing that's stupid about it is how easy it is to rig up and catch fish on so this chocolate color would probably be the best but i don't have it in my little stubby tubes and if you look at the difference See how this one's just a little bit chunkier? I just feel like these ones, you just catch so many more fish on it. Um, I do have the bigger ones, but I prefer these little ones. They're got a little bit thicker head on them. But this is the same, these are Ned heads, um, like I like to use with my Ned rig baits. This one has seen better days because I've been using it for a while here. But I like these wire weed guards on them. It helps you not get snagged up as much, but what you have to do is you have to take your wire weed guard and whenever I rig it like this, I want it to be up. Like this one is a laminated one, so it's got two different colors. So I want the brown to be on top. So I'm gonna rig it just like that. So I'm gonna take these wired weed guards and I'm gonna, I know it sounds gross, but spit inside the tube a little bit and that's gonna help it kind of slide up in there a little bit. Cause you're gonna put the head of that jig actually up inside that tube. And so we gotta get that wire weed guard. I got it to poke through there. And then I'm just gonna keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing until I get it all the way up in there. And then what I'm gonna do is pull that wire weed guard down. And then I'm gonna just press on this tube. And what that's gonna do is gonna make that head of the eye of that hook poke through and then you just spread your wire weed guard about like that and up and that'll keep you from getting hung up so much and then you're just going to tie it on with whatever your favorite knot is and you're ready to start fishing the stupid tube stupid tube delivers. And the chunky little guy, I actually didn't bring my measuring board. He's probably 14, but old chunky guy, let's let that one go. I tried to fish a bunch of different things today. I fished some different soft plastics. I fished these crankbaits you see here. Fish some spinner baits, even top water, and the stupid tube seemed to be what they wanted today. It always delivers. No oh, stupid tube, man. I tell you, man. I got something. Here we go. Stupid tube, man. I tell you. All 
all right there we go that's a de second decent quality fish here um we're gonna let that one go see ya so one thing i like about this tube rig is usually you can go behind other people fishing and still catch fish so up around this bend here um, there was a bass boat that was back in this cove and he was fishing along a bank and what i wanted to do is go back in behind him and fish that stupid tube so i waited until he came out and then i went down in there and started fishing all right so that guy came out of this cove and i'm gonna fish this square wheel back into here and then i'm gonna go back up the other side and see if i can't catch some fish that maybe he missed uh I really have a lot of confidence in that s stupid tube, especially in highly pressured waters like these, where you get a lot of people. It's just a little something different. And we'll see if we can't get some bites. I saw him catch one dinky little fish, probably about 10 inches or so. Hahaha. <laughs> Hopefully that caught on video. That'd be really cool. Itty, itty bitty guy. Let that one go. And this right here is a great example of watching your line. Watch my line go from the left to the right as I set the hook. Another little one. Skinny little guy. Barely had him hooked. There's two. I'd like to catch quality one right back in here though. So that's two. I saw that guy catch one. So technically I consider myself victorious. All right, so as far as techniques go, I usually fish it one of two ways. So I usually cast it out, and once I cast it out, I'm going to let it sink to the bottom. And then either one, I will kind of hop it along. Um, you can kind of do what's called stroking it, where you really make it hop up. I find that works really well. Um, sometimes to trigger the bites, um, you can kind of like make it make a big hop. And then usually I'll just kind of drag it along the bottom along those rocks as it hits those rocks and like kind of flings off the top of those rocks that will entice those strikes. What in the heck? That's a catfish. Dad gone it. I could tell by how it was fighting. Dad, you get up here now. You get up here now, you nasty old thing. Come on. Freaking ate it. Freaking choked it. I'm at the freaking boat ramp. Barely got him. Mm, 
chunky little fish. All right, guys. This one will end the day. Um, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. Don't forget, get outside, do something awesome, and try the stupid tube next time you're out fishing. I truly hope this video brought you some value today and you can use this technique the next time you're out fishing or enjoying the outdoors to catch more fish. And as always guys, I appreciate you watching. Check out one of these two videos on the screen and as always, get outside, do something awesome, and take somebody with you if you get a chance. And I'll see you in one of these other videos on the screen. Peace.